What is up guys, this is Ryan Tide Productions here and today I'm bringing you another Draw the Marvel Way video and I've just got 10 and 11 in the post because I'm a subscriber to it. It's a lot easier than keep going to the store for it because the stores are all uh, that I have around here and you usually have the first three magazines and then they don't bother after that. But I thought, you know what, I was going to write this magazine off because I thought the gifts that you get are like you know, they're not really worth a fiver, I'm saying, but, you know what, after going back and doing some of the old uh, t tutorials, I've actually found out I've got a lot better at drawing than I was anyway. But, I'll start off with issue 10. I'm filming this today on my phone. Just a quick one. Uh, I've got more colours, so that's a total of 9 or 12 colours now. I haven't actually painted anything yet, that's what I really wanted to learn from this. But we'll move on to issue 10 first. And issue 10, just the same first page. And it's How to Draw Falcon, which was actually a pretty good character in the Civil War movie. And here's just the tutorial, as always. I'll have a go at that later. I want to have a go at painting something, but I haven't tried anything yet. And here is the many faces of Falcon as we get in every issue. I wonder if we're going to get any special issues. And that's just your practice paper, which I do actually practice on when I get the chance. And here's the newer version of Falcon, of course. And Edge Draw Maldock. I'm sure, is Maldock an X Men villain? I ain't too sure. I'm sure, Maldock is. I remember from the old. Yeah, yeah, he was from the old X Men animated series, which was quite cool. Back in the 90s, of course. And there's the colour of him. And Tate's winged flight, Tate's draw wings, which I need help with a lot. I'm sure that's the wasp over there. And the work of J. Scott Campbell. Seems Miles he does like Spider Man things. I've actually grabbed the new Captain America comic as well. I don't have to do a review on that because I've seen loads of it on the internet. And issue 11, we've got whatever one of these is, what's it called? Metric Circle Ellipses or whatever. And in this one, a villain. I'm glad they're actually doing villains as well. So I want to draw this and Captain America side by side actually. This sick picture. So, introductory page as well. Head straw, red skull. Bit more detail. Ah, he's got the uh, finger cube in his hand. It's called Cosmic Cube. The Tesseract. From the first finger film. Got a look room back in the day. Back in 40s and 50s. God. And of course, your practice page as always. Oh, yeah. See, the newer versions of him is 10 times better. That's probably the best artwork there is of him. Head draw expressions there, this is where I find odd. Head draw expressions, so concerned, sad and concerned, shall I say. Spider Man. And angry and don't mess with me face, okay? Don't mess with me. So Spider Man. Spider Man was awesome in the new Civil War film. One of the things that saved the whole film for me. And there's Ghost Rider, another Ghost Rider. Head draw skulls and bodywork. And the art of Humberto Ramos. It's got some really cool pictures there. That is probably one of the best pictures there. I love that in a poster actually. And so, issue 12. See, because I've subscribed, I get them once a month. Which makes it easier as well, because I don't take the payment takes a month after, so they're too bad. And plus you get all the free subscription gifts. <coughs> I'm hoping they do some like special editions like they did with the Marvel Fat Files. I'll definitely buy that. And next issue we've got Rocket Raccoon. And we get two brushes and a letter set. So I've seen issue 13 as well on the internet. That's Emma Frost. So I'll be getting them to next month. And anyway, that's our review for the day. Check out some of our older reviews as well. And I'm thinking of doing a video. Like doing the showing my artwork and that. But it depends if people want to see it really. And anyway, thanks for watching. This has been Ryan Tide Productions. Adios.